Hey guys, it's Minas. So, um, we're in an economic recession, obviously. Um, you've heard the news, a whole bunch of layoffs, mass layoffs going on. Many people, thousands, are losing um, their jobs, their source of income, how they've been making a living. <laughs> And uh, I just happened to be one of them. I got that news, that terrible news yesterday. It's still kind of mind boggling. <laughs> still feels like it's a dream, you know, like it was so shocking. Uh, the phrase that comes to my mind of how I felt was like it hit me like a ton of bricks, right? out of nowhere like I did not expect it at all oh, <laughs> that was bad. I didn't expect it at all but of course he did right Jesus Christ he did even the, my, my co-workers they were like man um, cause I reached out like literally they like shut you out like you become like a ghost all all the networks you know for security reasons you have no, no longer have access right but when i reached out they were like man we're so sorry and it's like we didn't even we didn't even see it coming they didn't know and this is probably an upper level management decision you know those who own the company and uh, they have to make the really hard decisions. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, with the economic downturn, it's, this is just what companies do. And tech companies, like, you hear it, it's their, and startups too, they're laying off a lot of people, even the bigger corporations too. Everybody is, it's like, it, they're buckling down and you know budget cuts and crunching down the numbers are being crunched and they're like we gotta squeeze tightly where we could and unfortunately people um suffer in the end you know um but what has come to my mind like i was washing the dishes this morning yesterday was rough right <laughs> it's kind of getting depressed but what was reiterating in my mind was like, God knows. I mean, he saw this coming. People could be blind that I was, but he, he knew. God is never surprised, you know. I like this quote, it says, God not only knows whatsoever has happened in the past in every part of his vast domains, and he is not only thoroughly acquainted with everything that is now transpiring throughout the entire universe, but he is also perfectly cognizant of every event from the least to the greatest that ever will happen in the ages to come. So he is a very present, very aware. But not only that, uh, God knows us better than we know ourselves, and he knows exactly what we need and when we need it. And he knows what I need now. Um, even when I don't know, right? Who knows if this situation is just to make me stronger, which it should, which it will. But I don't want to get into this um, spiral, this vortex of, 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 oh, woe is me, right? Like, I want to rise above the challenge. I want to use it as a catalyst, as a catapult. So... God knows what I need, right, better than I do. And with everything going on, nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. He sees it all. And I guess some could be fearful about that, like, oh no, God sees everything I do. Or you could take comfort that I know a God that sees everything. Even the things and the, the trials and tribulations that I go through or will go through. Maybe 
he's got he's already gone ahead he's already prepared a way nothing can be hidden from god because he sees everything he is everything he is my everything our everything and he sees everything that's going on in this world everything that will happen in our lives that's presently at work and he's our protection he's our comfort <laughs> and he says I saw that <laughs> I saw it coming I saw it coming Ness. right I saw it coming God knows God sees God hears God cares so much he loves you he loves me and God will see me through he says he will never leave me or forsake me right and there's one thing that he says I got you like I always do God I love that that's what he's saying to me I got you like I always do It's like, trust me, trust me, I will provide. Trust me, be still and know that I am God. Don't worry, God is always on time, right? <laughs> this is so comforting. So don't worry about how things look, God is able, amen. He, and he will provide, he always does. So this uh, with heavy with a heavy heart, you know, this news is 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 you know it's crazy. <laughs> We're living in crazy times, hard times, and I feel for everyone who's gone through this. It's not only me, many people, but it's always harder when it's close to home when it happens to you, right? But it gives me a vantage point that wow, you know. Things are difficult for many people, many Americans right now living in the United States. Um, and all, you know, from all walks of life, we're all, we're all going through this. Um, and those who aren't, you are blessed. What I can say is, if you guys can pray for me and my family, that would be amazing. I... I need, you know, prayer just to get through this, you know, just to know that my brothers and sisters are, are in fact, vacuuming up at the throne of grace. And, uh, yeah, so I love you guys. I just wanted to bring a quick me message and prayer requests to you. All right. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye-bye.